been a while since I made a video. Uh, I saw this post on Facebook. It's been going around. I've seen it quite a few places, in fact. And I just figured, hey, since I haven't made a video, I'll go ahead and make one about this. Plus, I have some pretty, I don't know, strong feelings about this topic. And the topic is Haiti. Um, I've been to some poor countries in the time that I was in the Army. Probably not to the degree of Haiti. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to go there. I'd have to see it. But before the earthquake, Haiti was a pretty freaking poor place. Uh, I know friends of mine that went there back in the 90s, you know, when all that was going on there. And they told me about it, whatever. But I didn't experience it myself. It's kind of hard to imagine what kind of squalor the place really is if you haven't been there and walked down the streets and whatever. But I saw this post on Facebook, and this is what it reads. Shame on you, America. The only country where we have homeless without shelter, children going to bed without eating, elderly going without needed meds, and mentally ill without treatment. Yet we have benefit for the people of Haiti on 12 stations, 12 TV stations. 99% of the people won't have the guts to copy and repost this. Okay, first of all, I guess depending on how you read it, that statement's just flat out false. We're the only country that have homeless without shelter, kids going to bed without food, blah, 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 blah. I guess maybe it meant we have all those things, plus we had the telethon and... So, supposedly, if we have a couple hungry kids and people that don't have a house in our country, screw the rest of the world. And if people are suffering beyond a freaking imagination, people trapped under buildings, crushed, kids freaking without parents, screw all those people. We shouldn't give any money to them. Now, notice that the Post didn't say anything about tax dollars. Of course, our government gave money to Haiti, but that's not what this Post was talking about. This Post was talking about TV stations, broadcasting uh, telethons, raising money for, you know, the Haitians. Uh, that money comes from private funds. That money doesn't come out of your pocket doesn't come out of my pocket. That is property. The money is property of the people that donate that money. And they can do whatever the hell they want with their money. And if they want to give money to a cause that they find to be worthy, and trust me, I'm no fool. I know that a lot of this money, much like Hurricane Katrina funds, is going to get flushed down a freaking rat hole somewhere. And the corruption that's going to be involved in all these charities is going to be be beyond, you know, beyond comprehension. There will be a lot of fraud. So if you're going to donate, be careful who you're donating to. But I don't want to digress too much. Now, I didn't watch any of these programs. Uh, I'm not the bleeding heart liberal type person. In fact, I'm quite the opposite. I don't have any problem at all with a bunch of Hollywood types getting on TV, falling all over, over themselves to try to be more altruistic than the guy sitting next to them. But the fact of the matter is these people are going to demand, they're going to they're gonna actually pull in some money. And I don't know the figures. I saw them. It's astronomical amount of money that they're claiming that they raised. But... For anyone to stand or to take some sort of stand against what these people are trying to do, and I'm not talking about the the lefty freaking Hollywood types on the phones, and I, and I shouldn't say that. I mean, I'm sure there's people that are more politically aligned with me that are that were manning these phones, but that's the image that I get in my mind of, you know, uh, when it comes to this sort of thing, but. The people that called and donated their money to try to, to suggest that th they should take care of this country first. First of all, the poor in 
the United States, I mean, let's just look around. The poor people in the United States, and it's not everybody, but we have probably some of the most well-off poor people that any other country, I mean, you'll see the poor walking around with freaking cell phones, uh, you know, big screen TVs in their house. And I, and I know it's not everybody, but it's the truth. We have fat, poor people. Something is up with that, right? I mean, you can't be in, you know, living the, living the life if you're living off the dole. But to, to make, to suggest that anybody really in this country compares to the kind of squalor that Port-au-Prince is right now, you're just not being honest with yourself. And there are, there are, you could probably take individual cases of people that are, you know, worse off mentally or whatever. But, come on. These people, imagine what it's like to completely lose everything you've had when you had nothing really to begin with. Imagine a kid that's freaking got his legs smashed under a building. Now his parents are dead. What is going to happen with these people? These are, this really happened. You could sit in your living room and you could type on your keyboard all you want, copy and paste that message all you want, but these are real people. These are human beings that are in this freaking country right now suffering. And because people want to donate money to them, how can you sit there and claim to be, let's, let's take a stand against that. What kind of freaking person would post that without thinking about it. Think about what these people are really going through. I remember when a tornado hit the town that I live in right here, knocked the high school out, which just still isn't built, three years from, you know, three years ago. My kid was in the school. Freaking eight kids died in that school. Power was knocked out all over the place. It sucked living in my house for three days without power. I, I can't imagine. There's no... Ch when it, I, I remember thinking, when is the freaking power going to be turned on? The people in Port-au-Prince, the power ain't going to be turned on for <laughs> a long-ass time. And that people would take the time to donate money to th these people. And that someone else would have a problem with that. Because those people just happen to be born in a place that doesn't fly the same flag we do. Take a look at that and think, what's wrong with this freaking picture? That's all I got to say about it, but let me know how you feel.